Hello Aries and welcome to Ascending Soul's Journey. I am Lorianne here to give you messages that will carry you from the mid, uh, for the last two weeks of July. We're going to take a look at you and what's going on inside of you and whatever you're dealing with and how it rolls into the future as we move into the month of August. So this is for the sun, moon and rising sign of Aries and I hope you guys are doing really well. I'm very excited. I'm making some really huge changes and that's what we're really talking about because right now as the energy shifts around us we have huge changes getting ready to take place and I wrote a blog about that if you're subscribed to my website please read that it is an incredible opportunity that's coming in and you're starting off with the two of cups and Aries the two of cups is that heightened senses within you where you can tap into other people. You can tap into a place within yourself where you absolutely know without a doubt what is going on or what direction you need to take. For a lot of you, this is that beautiful connection inside of you where we have to have the divine feminine and the divine masculine align in order to have direct communication with ourself and anything in the universal elements. So this is a beautiful partnership getting ready to come in. This could be an opportunity for you to partner up on a job, a person, anything. This is a new experience where it's compatible. Now I'm pulling another card for you because this is about love. Aries, some of you are getting ready to open your heart up to somebody brand new. Now, please keep in mind, this could very well be your career, but I really feel for a lot of you, this is actually going to be a romantic situation that I don't think you're even expecting. Change is coming, and it's going to come in that quick. It's going to just blow right in and be right up on you, just like this lightning is over her head. And we know lightning can come in pretty quick. But the thing is, is I feel you've been waiting a very long time for an opportunity to find somebody that you feel is your soulmate, your true partner connection. So if this is with business, it may have taken a very long time for the two of you to come together and create the business partnership. Whatever it is, it has taken a lot of healing, a lot of energy work inside of you with the mind, the body, and the soul. And that does take a really long time. But let's take a look at whoever or whatever you're dealing with. And again, this is in July, rolling into August. So we're going to see whoever. You could be dealing with a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Pisces is in this reading. Scorpio is in this reading. Capricorn is strong in this reading. So you may be dealing with those signs right off the bat. But we do have the card of the chariot. And that's what I'm talking about. Moving forward. Sudden changes are going to come in. And again, we're seeing the balance between you and somebody else. We're seeing the balance inside of you in order to make this huge forward movement. You see, the chariot doesn't come in very slow. The chariot comes in rather fast. And that's why those horses look like they are running. And this one's just standing. So it took a really long time for you to go through whatever it is that you have been going through. Creating, uh, planning, organizing. If this is a relationship, you may have had to actually f redefine your own personal boundaries. Whatever you did, they're saying, well done, Aries. Well done. You're getting ready to make a huge change in your life. Huge. Huge, huge, huge. As you roll into the month of August, you'll be moving forward in some way. It could be relocation. It can be anything. Opening that business, starting that relationship. Now we have the Six of Pentacles. So in order for you to move into this beautiful new beginning, it isn't going to be very important for you to stay in balance. Pay attention to the planetary aspects that are around you because they can literally guide you from being stagnant into a forward movement, and that's what we're seeing. You see, the details are saying it took forever for you to open your heart. You were blocked probably from a partnership on any level that didn't do you well. <laughs> you know, in some way, it, it harmed you. It leaves an opening, let's put it that way, an opening where a sense of closure needs to come in. Something was off, and our brains, our body, 
and the core being of who we are can hold on to that until we make sense of it. You're making sense of it because when we see this, that means that you've got it right down the center and you know exactly what's going on. So let's take a look at this a little bit closer as to how we can get you balanced or whatever is the detail behind this. We have the sun card. <laughs> I love this. This is awesome. Now you could be dealing with a Leo or even a fellow Aries for some of you, but this is really about your inner child coming out. And that's what happens when we go through this divine feminine divine masculine pulling together inside of us. So I feel like this is a form of completion that's going to allow you to move into the month of August. By the way, this card, when I see it, always reminds me of the month of August. So it's saying you're right in alignment with where you need to be. If you feel that it's taking too long, and this can say that it's taking a really long time, you might even feel like you're pedaling backwards, seeing things around you kind of fall off, giving the illusion that you're not going in the right direction. But pay very close attention to your inner child. Remember, balance brings in that inner knowance, that inner guidance for you to be able to, to know exactly this is prosperity. It can't get much better than this. Because when inside of us, we understand what's going on, we don't have to doubt. We don't need to worry. So feel confident in your decision making. Feel confident in whatever it is that you're doing. This is beautiful energy right here. Now I'm going to pull another card because I feel there's something else missing, especially in romance. And we're going to look at that in a moment. But we do have the Seven of, Pen of, of Wands. And the Seven of Wands is revamping the boundaries around us when it comes to a relationship. But it's also drawing out a map, how to get from here to here. And that may be what you were focusing on, a pathway to get to your prosperous zone in your own life. And you're going to accomplish it. I think this is amazing energy for this group of you. It's really beautiful. Now I'm going to pull a message for you. <clears throat> And then I'll pull a romance angel card. We want to lead you toward that sun and into the forward movement. And we want to move you into a place of, of the two of cups, the partnering, the pairing. And you have the card of loneliness. And loneliness is pretty self-explanatory, right? And when we in, embark and bring back our inner child, that loneliness will go away. It is going to go away. For a lot of you, this is absolutely a brand new relationship coming in that I don't think you are even aware of. You might have that little hint, somebody's coming. I know somebody's wherever I move, they're, in, they're where I move to, even though you don't know where you're moving. It's like an inner knowing. So the romance card that came out for you is chemistry. You're getting ready to meet something, someone, somebody is going to light your fire. Somebody's coming in that you are so compatible with. The chemistry is beautiful. And the two of you are going to move forward in a new beginning. This is representing a brand new beginning filled with balance, filled with forward movement. This is an amazing energy. Over the next two weeks, you may have some turbulence. Again, you may be kind of rumbling in that loneliness. Why is it taking so long? If you know this person, that definitely is going to apply to you. But again, just know that everything is happening for a reason. And it's important for you to embrace what's going on around you and take action at the right moment. So Thank you for watching. Please thumbs up this video and join us as we go into the wellness of what I do with Energy Shorts and watch us on TikTok. We have brand new series for you. Much love.